Hi, I'm John with Total Equipment Training and welcome today to our tailgate talk. Today we're going to talk about mobile crane inspections and what to look out for to make sure that your crane is in proper working order before you proceed with the lift. On our website, TotalEquipmentTraining.com, you can download uh, our checklist sheet and it'll walk you through each step of the process and that piece of machinery and what you need to look out for. So. On first things first, you want to make sure that you document your crane number and the date and make sure that it is the current date. Uh, you want to look at the hook to make sure that the throat opening is not more than 15% and or that there is more than 10% wear on the throat. You also want to look for cracks, corrosion, any pitting in the metal that would cause that hook to fail. And if so, then you take it out of service. You want to look at your wedge socket to make sure that your wire rope is the correct size for the wedge socket or if the wedge socket is interchangeable that that socket is a proper match for the rope. Uh, make sure that the dead end of the wire of the rope is secured properly and then you also want to take a look at your shivs to make sure that the wire rope is seated properly in the shiv and that the wire rope keepers are functioning and slide across the bar without getting bound up to make sure that that wire rope will spool on and spool off correctly. Again, check for any welds or cracks or any signs of bent or buckled panels. You want to then uh, check out your boom to make sure that the boom is in good condition and that there aren't any bends or cracks in the welds of the boom. You want to make sure also that there aren't any hydraulic leaks and that all of the hoses are in good condition. And if they're not, then you take the piece of equipment out of service. And then you want to take a look at your tires to make sure that they are properly inflated and that there aren't missing chunks of rubber, especially on the sides or on the bottoms to make sure that those tires are in good condition. You want to check all your fluids, including your crankcase oil, and then your hydraulic oil level to make sure that they are correct. You want to also look at miscellaneous items such as your outrigger pads, make sure that they're not cracked. All of the other hydraulic hoses, make sure they're in good condition and make sure that your handrails leading up to the cab are in good condition because you don't want to go to climb up onto that crane and have that handrail crack off and then you fall to the ground. Also make sure you do have a proper working fire extinguisher and a load chart is in there for your reference because it is very important to make sure that you're following the load chart and all of the weights and that you understand what you're lifting and making sure that you understand what that crane is capable of. You want to look at your outriggers to make sure that they're in good condition, that they extend all the way out, and that when you level the crane, it's actually level. And as a point of reference, it's a good idea to take a carpenter's level and double check to make sure that that crane is setting level. Because even one half of a degree off will cause that load to not go well. Also, look at your brakes. Make sure that all of your brakes are working for the hoist and for the boom. And if it's a truck crane for the truck itself, to make sure that those brakes work so that in the event of a safety issue, that they will stop what you stop the what you <laughs> that they will stop um, and keep you safe is the is the the goal here. We don't want anybody getting hurt and especially not an operator or any, anybody around. And we want to make sure that that equipment is going to function the way that it needs to function. So thanks for watching this video and be safe and be up to date.